Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Unlike any other YouTube channel that showcases Pokemon Go PvP content, mine exclusively showcases Shadow Pokemon. So, if you're into that type of content, I'd appreciate if you could like and subscribe. So, let's get into today's video. If you look to the right, you are going to see the PvP Poke scorecard for the team I'm going to be running today. It is F for Bulk and my god is this team squishy. But, we are in the season of Spice. We're in week three and absolutely everyone I've played is playing basic bitch meta. So I am going to continue with the season of Spice because fuck what everyone else is doing. If you want to improve at the game, you've got to test yourself. And my gosh, did we test ourselves today. We are going to be running Triple Shadows in the Love Cup. This is the first time I've ever played Love Cup because since it's been around, I've only used Shadow Pokemon. I've never thought a team is viable. I still don't think a team's viable, but we're going to put it to the test anyway. I powered up all three of these Pokemon straight away. I've never used any of them. We went straight to battle and believe it or not, we did pick up some wins. So we have got Slowbro in the lead. We've got Magmortar on his Community Day Thunderbolt as a safe switch and Vileplume doing, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing. It's just there because I didn't have another Pokemon. So let's get into the battles. In game one, we pick up a pretty decent lead against Mankago. I'm going to say pretty decent because we're super slow to charge moves and we can't even tank a Rock Blast particularly well. But credit where credit is due, the bro actually tanked a move, unlike the other two Pokemon. So we build up a little bit more energy because the opponent switched out. I now switch into Vileplume. We are resisting counter, but Vileplume really can't tank a move. I'm going to shield the first foul play. I'm really hoping they don't make a second. They're now at a second foul play. So for science, we're going to test this and fuck my life. It near one shot and we managed to lose switch. Not fantastic. I am now going to come in with the Magmore. Are we karate chop down? If they bring back in the Mancargo, which they do, these Grotty Chops do hit for super effective. I'm trying to farm down and fuck my life. Even with Shadow Bonus, Grotty Chop really doesn't do anything. I have to shield the Rock Blast and what is in the back? In the back is an Ariados. This is playable. Fire Punch gets the shield. Second Fire Punch will do big damage. It does hit for super effective despite us being debuffed. It near one shots and we CMP tie. Absolute best case scenario. Cross Poison takes us out and the bro should be able to Confusion down. We Confusion down Ariados and one Confusion will take out the Mancargo and believe it or not, we're off to a 1-0 start. Moving into game two, we see Licky Tongue. This is absolutely dreadful. It will pretty much beat the entire team. You love to see it. We save switch into Magmortar. We are hitting four super effective with Karate Chop and it's actually terrible. We over farm an absolute bucket load and they catch on Talonflame. However, does Talonflame know Magmortar has Thunderbolt? Well, if you don't know, you're about to find out. Get fucking wrecked, Kentucky Fried Chicken Bird of Death. Back out comes the Licky Tongue and Magmortar is absolutely not done. This thing is going an absolute tear up. Fire Punch lands, does huge damage. We can't farm down, we got it super low. We're now gonna come in with Vile Plume and absorb this damage. Hopefully they are weak to Razor Leaf in the back. We do Razor Leaf down, what is in the back? In the back is a spider. This is not ideal. We are gonna need to be able to tank a lunge. Slow bro, come on buddy. Do you have this bulk to survive a move? Let's see, we sneak a confusion. So if we survive this move, we are going to beat the most basic bitch meta team of them all. And that is a good game. You fucking love to see it. Moving on into the next battle, we see Talonflame. I know I'm going to get baited, but we are so weak to Talonflame in the back. I am going to shield up and would you believe it or not, they do bait. They bring in a Dredagon. This dragon, once again, is problematic for the team. It's going to be a common theme in this video. Pretty much everything is a problem for this team. We are going to switch into Vile Plume. Is Vile Plume a dragon counter? Absolutely fucking not. But it doesn't want to see Talon Flames. We're just going to do as much damage as possible and essentially sack it. We have got this Dredagon pretty low. We come in with Magmortar. We do sneak a Karate Chop. We are not going to shield this up. Ouch, that hurt a lot. We do manage to farm down. We're in the one shield. In the back is a Scrafty. This is looking pretty dreadful. We are going to fire off a Fire Punch. Unfortunately, I really wish we had Cross Chop. We do not. I tried to switch out to catch the Pup. I'm unable to do so as it was a CMP tie. I'm now going to switch. We come in with the Bro. Even if we get to this Ice Beam, this once again is going to be a Pup. I've got really no choice but to Shield as we are running out of HP. I am going to fire off this Ice Beam. This will probably take out the Scrafty and... As painful as it is, we're about to get incinerated down. 
You hate to see it. And we lose that game. Moving on into the next battle, we see another Talonflame. They switch out into Seeking. We bring in a Razorleaf user. Razorleaf is hitting for super effective. And Seeking doesn't get a stab on Icy Wind. Fuck my life. Even without stab, we need to get one shot. So the common theme in this video is Vile Bloom. You're absolutely fucking dreadful. Holy crap. I come back in with the Shadow Bro and they actually bring in Metachan. This is absolute best case scenario for me as Magmortar has a dreadful matchup here and has a pretty alright matchup with Talonflame. Well, I say that, we can hit it for super effective with Thunderbolt. It resists everything else, but Magmortar doesn't have that many positive matchups, so we take that. We managed to draw the shield. This is not enough for a Psychic, so I am going to call the Ice Punch or Pup. We do survive, really need to get to this move. We get to the Psychic, Psychic will take him out, and I'm instantly going to swap into Magmortar. Magmortar, come on, buddy, let's see what you can do. We need to time our Karate Chops to not let any free incinerate through. We do deny the incinerate. I'm going for the bait. If this bait lands, you already know that Kentucky Fried Chicken Bird of Death is about to get nuked. We are going to shield this up. I know it's going to be a flame charge, but we're going to outpace to the Thunderbolt by one turn. And guess what? Kentucky Fried Chicken of Bird of Death get fucking wrecked. And that is a good game. GG and thanks for playing. Moving on into the next battle, we see another Talon Flame. I've never played Love Cup before today and I'm already fucking bored. Everyone, use some creativity. Fucking hell, what they're going to switch into? Oh, Licky Tongue. Well, there's a fucking surprise. This meta is so fucking boring. But they actually let the Psychic land. We're going to come in with Vile Plume just to once again sack it. We'll raise a leaf down, but I don't want to leave with too much HP as I obviously do not want to allow Talonflame too much farm. I think two Incinerate should do it. There's one, there's two. Uh, we are in a bit of a tricky spot. So I'm going to come in with the bro. We sneak a confusion. Once again, they're probably going to bait with a flame charge, but at this health, it will do quite a lot of damage. I'm looking to confusion down. The opponent stays in. We do confusion down. What is in the back? In the back is a Metachan. It's still got two shields. This is going to be tricky. I fire off a Psychic. We draw the first shield. Now switch out into Magmortar. They do resist Karate Chop due to their Psychic typing. However, Fire Punch with Stab from a Shadow does quite a lot of damage. The opponent is going to have to throw a Psychic to take us out. So if this is a Psychic, we have got a chance of outpacing them to a Psychic of our own. In comes the Bro. Are we going to make it? Slow Bro makes the Psychic, does this Psychic, one-shot Metachan. See you fucking later, GG's, and thanks for playing. Moving into the next battle, we see Shadow Electrode. Holy crap, Slow Bro doesn't want to see that. We come in with Magmorta. We win CMP, I think against most things. We're super attack weighted. We draw a shield with the Fire Punch. The opponent is farming up a lot of energy. You can see the Volt Switches have got us down to around 40% HP. So once again, I am going to outpace. Unfortunately, I tried to CMP tie. The opponent smartly doesn't throw, so they're looking to farm down, which they do. And we are in a really tricky spot. So I'm going to come in with Vile Plume. Are we going to get Hyper Beamed? We're about to find out. I'm going to call no Hyper Beam. It's just a discharge, even resisted. It does over half our health. Once again, this is going to be a discharge, but as they're staying in, maybe Vile Plume's going to be useful. Probably not, but we're about to find out. So we have some health. They switch out into Ariados. So this looks pretty dreadful. Lunge does not one shot. We know we do survive. So what is in the back? Is it something that we can deal with? It is an aroma tea. So you're going to see here, I'm going to go for a cheeky undercharge. I need to undercharge it and allow myself to leave with a sludge bomb. Sludge bomb is resisted, but it will do big damage. It would have actually KO'd from that range. However, we unfortunately got farmed down. So it's actually quite a close game. Moving on into the next battle. We see Dredagon in the lead and we choose to use Vile Plume as a damage sponge because it hasn't really found many good matches. We do a bit of Razor Leaf damage. The opponent dumps all of their energy, which is fine for me. I can now come in with either Pokemon and farm down. Believe it or not, the Alola Mola was super common last time, but Vile Plume isn't seeing any water types. We did see uh, Seeking and we got wrecked. In comes Talonflame. I am going to go straight for the nuke. Do they respect Thunderbolt? Get fucking wrecked. What is in the back? In the back is a bro. So we're in the bro mirror. We do deny a confusion. We need to just try and get rid of all their shields. We do draw the first shield. We should make one more. We sneak confusion. I am going to shield this up as if we get the opponent's last shield, I think Fire Punch will be enough to KO. The opponent is going to be forced to shield, and then hopefully Magmortar won't get confusion down. Holy crap, this is going to be dicey. We get a defense drop. 
one karate chop. You can see that confusion did huge damage. However, fire punch is going to be enough to take this game. So we once again find a win. Believe it or not, this team is winning. Uh, I'm going to be honest, it lost more than it won, but fuck it. We're here for the content. We're having a good time. We see a crustal in the lead. And I think this is another Pokemon that probably sweeps our entire team. So we are going to fire off a Psychic. We deny a Smackdown. This should draw an oppo the opponent's shield. They do shield it up. We sneak Confusion. I'm not willing to go down both shields. as The back two Pokemon need about 15 shields each. I'm going to save one. I come for the aggressive. Farm down with Magmortar. You can see that I'm almost wrecked. They bring in a Slowbro or Sloking. Either way, I'm going for the nuke. Do they respect it? Holy crap. We one-shot that. In the back is a Metachan. Can we manage to pull off another crazy dub? We're about to find out. I'm going to shield this up in case the opponent goes straight psychic, which they do. And at this stage now, these raised leaves are absolutely digging in. The opponent realises that and they quit the match. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving into the next battle, we have the battle of the brothers. Shadow Slowbro versus Slow King. I'm not going to shield this and in hindsight I do really regret that because it did huge damage and we didn't sneak and they do sneak. I imagine the opponent is going to shield this up, which they do, and that is hugely problematic. Without the sneak, I would have made the next move. You're going to see I get farmed down just to about to make it. I'm now going to have to come in with the Vile Plume. I'm going to have to shield up absolutely everything. Hopefully we can raise a leaf down, which we do. We haven't took too much confusion damage, which is great. They have a crustal, so we now switch into Magmorta. I'm not sure that was the play, but I was already spamming out the swap. Fire Punch should draw a shield, which it does, and we're going to get smacked down. So, pretty new play, instantly swapping. I'm going to have to shield this up, uh, well, because I'm running out of Pokemon. I'm looking to raise Leaf down before the next move. They have an Electrode in the back. So, if I would have stayed in, perhaps I could have won this matchup. Sludge Bomb will take out the Electrode. See you later, buddy. But... They are going to make a move. So another fairly close game. I think I should have probably stayed in with Vile Plume. And then maybe Magmorta could have swept in the end game. But you can't win them all. Moving on into the next battle. We see a lead against Mancargo. That thing's super annoying. They switched to Wigglytuff. So I'm going to come in with my Razor Leaf user. See you fucking later, Charmer. Thanks for playing, buddy. Piss off back to your Pokeball. This is not a Charm meta. They come back in with the Mancargo. It looks like it's actually on Rock Throw. I'll go for this Sludge Bomb. The opponent very strangely shields. I've got no idea why you'd shield. There's nothing I can use that would hit you for super effective or perhaps as a grass move, but I'm not running it. The opponent realise they're a bit of a noob and they quit the match. Moving on into the next battle. We hard lose lead against Scrafty. We switch into Magmortar. We're hard countered with an Alola Mola, but holy crap, Alola Mola has 6 million HP. It's like fucking Umbreon, but... Flame, not Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, sorry, did near one shot. We come in with the bro. We haven't even had to take a move. Back up comes Scrafty. Is there any wink on here? Probably not. I'm going to allow this to go through. It is the foul play. It doesn't one shot. We are going to get to the Ice Beam, but I'm going to go pro Psychic because I know the opponent's going to shield it anyway. I'm fishing for the defense drop. We don't get a defense drop, and now we come in with Vile Plume. I am going to shield this up in case they're going for yet another foul play. We correctly shield a foul play. What is in the back? In the back is a Charmer. We are going to be able to raise a leaf down completely. We leave with a move. I'm just going to go for the fast move as they've got a shield. So we're going to have to try and Confusion down. You see, we do sneak Confusion, but Scrafty does single resist Psychic. And unfortunately, they do survive with one HP and a dream. So those were the battles with a triple shadow team in Love Cup. You can see that I faced zero spice whatsoever. And we were using probably the spiciest team on the internet in the Love Cup. We did manage to pick up some wins. I did power up all these Pokemon today. So it cost me around 400,000 in Stardust. So if you appreciate the commitment I've got to the Shadow Spice, I really appreciate if you smash that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one.